Namaste fam, short-haired wolfcore here, coming at you from the summer of 2019. How the heck are you? Welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2, friends and fam. Uh, in the last episode, we haven't played this game in a week, we finished Act 1. We are now in the transitional phase between Act 1 and 2, which means I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Don't you ever forget. So, <laughs> we've captured the Lady Vengeance from the Magisters. And here we are. Uh, the problem is, we don't know how to make the boat move yet, so we're going to have to spend some time figuring out how to get this boat afloatin'. I'm going to pop on these bad boys so that my retinas don't burn out. And, uh, yeah. I did do a little bit of running around on the boat. Didn't do much of anything between episodes. I just picked up Losa, because for whatever reason, your party will disband so close at this escape. point in the game, and you need to reform it. And I just wanted to make sure that we weren't going to have any issues with her being upset at us for murdering all the people that we have or anything like that. Uh, Sodden Diary, we are going to need this to get the boat afloatin'. Let's just keep moving along. I also went ahead and did some slight respecking on our characters. It was a while ago, but if I recall, I took... I gave one of these to Loremaster. Let's just take a look at our attributes real quick. I realize that my face is blocking it. Fortunately, I don't have a stream deck to remove my face conveniently. Um, I got rid of Sibyl's wits because she shouldn't need crit chance when she's behind targets, which she should be. So Losa is now going to be our wits character because she can utilize the crit chance. And then I gave... Lore Master to Sibyl because she's an elf, so she's naturally good at it. And Losa is now going to be our persuasion character. And we're just going to not really worry about stealing anymore at this point in the game. Unless we absolutely have to. And hello! What's up, Death Lord? How you doing, brother? Thank you for coming by the stream. How's your Saturday going so far, my frere? And get all of this good shit. And then, we're gonna head downstairs. See what we can do about getting this boat moving. Alright. Down we go! Right, do I need to loot all this stuff? I don't wanna. I don't wanna. too interesting in here. Ooh, a chest. Some wheat. I'll take some wheat. Why not? Uh, I'll take that repair hammer. Another repair hammer. Try not to overdo it with the looting. I hope you guys appreciate that. I'm sure it's not the funnest thing to watch. Uh, good, but it's hot here in New Finland, bro. I believe you. It's hot as fuck here in California. It's like almost 100 degrees outside right now. It's gross. Ew, dirty socks. I don't want those. And what's up, Hydro? Until 4:30, but it's 4:30 right now. Uh, 4:30 Pacific Standard Time. So you got three hours of this to go. Three hours. Ew, dirty panties, gross. There's fucking nothing in here worth having. Just, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. Let's head down to the lower decks. Holy dicks, the beard is gone. Gasp, yes, yes it is. The beard is gone. I am a fresh-faced little boy right now. I also just got my hair cut, like, literally 30 minutes ago. And, uh... I like it. Looks kind of military. I prefer to have the longer hair on top, but it's just, I'm working outside in the summer right now, and I was just like, fuck it, I want it all gone. I'll grow it back out uh, during the fall. Uh, this is the mirror that you can respec at for free. We've already done that, but that's uh, that's what that is. The Hello. The flexes her arms stiffly. Her joints audibly pop. She sees you draw near. I owe you, Godwoken. <laughs> Without your help, I'd likely still be a prisoner around here. 
Not guarding Alexander the bloody divine himself. He dead. She nods her thanks and immediately winces, laying her hand on the back of her neck. Uh, it is indeed Alexander out cold. Shoot a quizzical look to the seeker. He must be tougher than he looks to have survived that fight with you and the others. The wicked ones are always the last to shuffle off to the Hall of Echoes, though, ain't they? Uh, open the gate. Good luck getting anything out of either of them. Our special guest is out cold, and the other one ain't in much of a talking mood. Okay. All right, then. Just don't make me regret it. Okay. Open the gate. Nah, looking good. I was about to ask, did you join the military? <laughs> no, sir. Useful. I just needed to cool down. All right, so Alexander is not actually dead. Uh, he's just got the shit kicked out of him by us. So we are Get going to him, inspect That's his body. The divine. Uh, point out that she's alone, unarmed, and there's a ship, ship full of seekers who'd happily throw her overboard. She is in no position to make demands. Ha! Ha! Right. Don't harm him. I'll be watching. What is this? This is Divinity Original Sin 2, assuming you're asking about the game. Um... I've been posting the whole series on YouTube, so if you would like to catch up, or if you're interested at all, it's all there. Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, his eyes are only half closed. His swollen jaw hangs open at an odd angle. Get a good look at his face. Bruises swell beneath his eyes, and a shallow gash zigzags from his right ear down to his beardless cheek. Unconscious, he looks more boy than Bishop. Uh, Benny G, hey Wolf, I'm doing what you're, you've inspired me to do in that streaming. Thanks. Benny G, congratulations. That's awesome. How's your stream going, man? And we're going to inspect his hands. Someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and folded them neatly over his abdomen. They rise and fall in shallow, jagged swells. Look closely at his simple regalia. A beautiful six-sided gem rests on the bishop's chest, hung round his neck by an ordinary oiled rope. Uh, take the gem. The gem sits heavily in your pouch. Take your leaf. Fuck you! I don't know if I should have done that. Mm. Too late! Kill it! Fuck this guy. He's a cunt. Time to die. Where the fuck are you going? Stand down, Magister. Stand down. Yeah. <laughs> he dead. Yeah, I could have killed her there, but that's fine. Let's just go ahead and finish this off. I don't know why I did that. I was just like, let's kill him. Oh, looks like you can't even loot. Oh, maybe, maybe you can. Never mind. Healing potion, I'll take it. Alright, well, looks like we're not going to be fighting Alexander in Act 3. That's just fine by me. So, with the gem that we acquired from Alexander, we can come over to this door that is uh, puzzling the Seekers. Um, and get through it. The door seems like any door, at least at first. Then you notice it's unblemished wood. There is no knot, no scratch, no dent to detract from its apparent perfection. Uh, you sense something more here, a presence. Place your hand, your palm against the door. The wood groans and creaks. A face appears in the wood, tortured and tormented. A six-sided indentation is carved on its forehead, as if a gem or amulet had made a mark there. Okay. The face vanishes. Hold the gem you took from Alexander out towards the door. The anguished face appears once more. It dips its forehead towards you and waits. Hold the gem to the six-sided shape carved in the figure's forehead. A shudder of pleasure racks the figure in the door. Ooh. It seems to breathe. All of a sudden, all anguish is gone. It gives you the sternest of looks. I am summoned. Speak the password. The password? Uh, point out that you have the gem. You've summoned me with the gem, indeed. Now, the password. Uh, tell the door your password seems to have been changed. Ask for a new one. No. Uh, strength persuasion. What the fuck? 
The human mind is as simple as it is stubborn. Shit, I forgot where you get the password. Come on, man. This is the state room. Authorized personages only. Uh, Speak knock. The password. Knock loudly you upon the door. Waste your Fuck. Shit. <laughs> where do you get the password? Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Um. Let's see. I'm. It's going well. Just recently started. I'm currently doing Fortnite, where I swap from controller to mouse and keyboard. Oh, very cool, man. Well, I am proud of you for doing something that you want to do with your life. That makes me happy. Keep me posted. Uh, this password, though, yo. What about this other one over here? Can we glean something from it? No entry allowed. Please use the port side door. Hold up the gem. Listen up so I don't have to repeat myself again. I am not an entry door. Can you remind me of my password? Uh, fine. Answer the security question. Uh... Ask for the security question? Current security measures forbid me from providing the security question. Tell it that before you answer, you'll need it to give you the password. <laughs> Tricked you, bitch. Oh, having persuasion is great. The password is fortitude. Fortitude. The face in the door is confused for a moment. Drat. <laughs> ah, fooled you, bitch. All right. Now let me in. This is the state. Fortitude. Yes, and Open the fuck up. Right. There's a saucy bitch in here Just that sells us things. Moment, please. All right, Tarquin. Let's see if you got anything for me. Got a two-handed axe. That's definitely uh, maybe an upgrade. Higher base damage. That's for sure. Um, got some crossbows, some daggers. Ooh, baby. Those look like upgrades. Fifteen to sixteen base damage. Plus the dual wielding dodge and a gem slot. Yep, taking that. And plus to HP. Cool. Dagger upgrades, very cool. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll get a good two-handed axe at the start of Act 2, so I'm not going to bother buying an upgrade from this guy. Just doesn't seem necessary. Got some necromancy books. Do we want anything here? Raise Bone Widow. Take that. Living on the Edge. Fuck yeah, that's the one I wanted in a previous episode. And Bone Cage. Very, very good skills. Excellent. Um, you got anything else for me? Finesse Helmet. Finesse and Scoundrel. Wits and Warframe. Uh, it's an upgrade, but not much of one. I think I'll pass on that. Got some legendary strength leggings. Uh, gosh, the 7% dodge is so good. I don't think I'm going to bother with those either. It's hydro. Pretty sure we're set on belts. How are your boots? Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with the items we've selected. Oh, you got some runes down here. Good chance. Movement, physical damage, and max vitality. I want some fucking hit chance runes, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. Uh, how much are these a piece? Two thousand. Eh. Uh, nah. Nah, I'm good. Alright. Get rid of some junk that we do not need. All this, all that, all that, 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 that. Those, these. Wait, wait, wait. I need the... 
waterlogged journal. Hmm. Must be on Losa. Amulet of the Deep? Do I want the immunity to stuns? I'm gonna keep that. Oh, that's right. We have some gear that we need to identify now that we have the correct level of lore master. And simple ring. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Dude, we have so much gear we need to identify. Holy shit. I need that. Oof. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and catch up on identifying gear right after we talk to Tarquin. He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap and turns his full attention to you. And there. Rescued at last, am I? To whom do I owe my thanks? Uh, say that you and your compatriots have seized the ship from the Magisters and demand to know who he is. I'm a prisoner, of course. Do you think I'd be sitting here calmly if I was a Magister holdout? I don't know, maybe. That infernal Dallas woman left me trapped here, too weak to escape. It seems I'm in your debt. Hmm. What did Dallas do to you? Why torture? What else? Is that so? He extends his arm and pushes up the sleeve. Beneath, the skin is withered and discolored, as if it were magically decayed. Gross. She used some form of domination device on me, forcing my hands to do her bidding, and I've ruined them in the process. Uh, that sucks, dude. Well, the situation is looking immeasurably better now. You'll hear no more complaints from me. Okay. So why don't you tell me all about my valiant rescuers? To whom do I owe my thanks? Say that you consider yourself a musician rather than a rescuer. Ah, I do like music. Everybody does. I created a never-ending music box for a lizard viceroy once. In fact, I do believe the box has outlived the lizard. Ancient empire politics are so cutthroat. Hmm. I must hear you perform at some point. But for now, I ought to carry on with what I'm doing here. Unless there was something else? Uh, nope. Take your leave. All right. You can get a shit ton of stuff off the shelves in this room. In the form of empty potion bottles. But I am not going to bore you all with that. Because there are a lot of potion shelves in here. This isn't gonna work. I'm gonna have to break it down. Shit. Not having thievery is a goddamn pain in the ass. I tell you what. What's this? I found something. Ooh, a switch. I forgot. We need to identify all this gear. Um. Epic necklace. Strength, Warfare, Bartering, and a Magic Slot. Fuck yeah. Big dick upgrades. Okay. Uh, bad belt. That's fine. Got us a rare ring. A uh, tanking ring. Nope. Don't want that. Some pantaloons. Intelligence. Don't care. Strength chest. Plus one to strength. Constitution geo. Way better defensive stats, though. Eh, I think we'll take it just for the defensive stats. Um, wand. We can't use that. But let's identify it. A bow. We can't use that. Staff. And a staff. Hey, that's a good staff. 7% dodge? Damn. Let's see, it looks like we got some epic strength boots, initiative, and movement. Interesting. Oh my god, huge upgrade. We're going from a white item to an epic. 
Uh, let's also combine those with some nails before we forget to make sure that they grant us immunity from slipping. Looks like we got some intelligence boots. Can't use those. Another ring. Scoundrel and HP. That might actually be an upgrade. We got Warfare Summoning. Constitution Huntsman. Will it mess me up if I do this? No. Great. Okay, we got an upgrade there. Got... Two-handed sword. Oh, I missed that. Okay, that's pretty good. Wow, that's really good. Uh, looks like this two-handed sword is going to be an upgrade for Losa. Oh, no. We lost intelligence somewhere, so we can't wear that helmet anymore. That's a problem. Um, well, let's slap on that sword. Put a gem in it. I think I am going to actually buy one of those tier 2 gems over here from Tarquin. It's good to have a sense of freedom once again. Yeah, I'm sure Ooh, it is, good. buddy. Let's see, physical damage, fire damage. Let's take one of those. Do you have a strength helmet by chance? Finesse. Oh. Bummer. Alright, let's just do that. Take the my leave. Let's put our big gem in there. And was there anything else I needed to identify? You need to equip your new weapons. Gonna buy that other gem. <laughs> Greetings. You must be another of the new arrivals. It all seems right. I owe you all for my freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ceases oh, I've been captive here that Leave me alone. Alright. Let's pop that gem in there. And Losa. I really don't want to lose that point in intellect. Oh, but that necklace is such a huge upgrade. Oh, damn it. Alright. I think we might just leave her helmetless for the time being. She'll We'll find a strength helmet before long. And uh, once we do, we'll be good. Alright, let's just finish grabbing some of the obvious good stuff in here. Pyramid. What on Rivalon is this for? A teleporter pyramid. Only one way to find out if it works. Try using it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't tell me how to play. Skull, talon. What's this? I found something. Oh, look at that. Wow, those glasses are worth 250 gold apiece. That is ridiculous. Squirrel's nose twitches. Shut up. I'm not trying to talk to you, Squirrel. Alright, so we found a little hatch over here. Let's pop down into there. Gonna have to fight a couple of geists. Which is just fine by me. Uh, let's just delay turn. They're positioned awkwardly. Also, ouch. Holy shit. Um. Delay turn on her as well. Okay. Let's blink behind you. Uh, backstab. Sawtooth. Flesh sacrifice. No! You dumbass! Ugh. Ugh. I fucked up. I fucked up, fam. It's okay, though. We're gonna be fine. 
Um, let's hit once. Knock him down. I was hoping to hit the other one, but it did not happen. So we'll just enter. Come back. Let's do a whirlwind. There he is. And slam. Oh, jeez, really? That didn't kill him? That's unfortunate. Let's get behind you. And do some back stabs. <laughs> Alright, good shit. Were those guards or victims? Yes. Both, I fear. Exactly. I forgot we got some new skills. Unlosa, let's learn that. That and that. Got our teleporter pyramid, which is very handy. Bill, you take the other one. Now they can Another teleport pyramid. between each other when needed. Jar of mind maggots. Don't mind if I do. Is there anything else important down here? Sweet jewelry. Did I grab that picture? Whoa, 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 whoa. That painting looks really heavy. 20 pounds? Uh uh. You stay there. Metal staff. And a button. Alright, so we did Dallas's quarters. This is good. We have the diary. So let's head back upstairs. And I think we should be able to get this boat a moving. Come on, ladies. Let's -a go. Oh no, Kerbin. Whoa! Oh, this is stuff that I sold Kerbin in the past. I was like, you have a lot of shit. Unique items are, uh, once you sell them to somebody, you can kill them and loot them and get your unique items back. Is there something I needed to do in here? No. No, we're good. Pray to you for my seeker. What's Don't wrong? go any further, Godwoken. We need you alive. Uh, what's going on? The ship won't sail. We had orders to search every corner of it and figure out what's blocking us. It's hewn from Elven Livewood. I thought I could communicate with it, but... She glances over towards a smoldering pile of ash on the deck nearby. Something is nestled within it. Fragments of scorched bone. Yikes. That was Brendan. When the ship wouldn't answer my call, he touched the figurehead, and it attacked him, without warning. He burned, like he was made of parchment. That's pretty gnarly. Uh, sorry. Her eyes flick over to the smoldering ashes once again, her head held at a despondent angle. Thank you. We were held captive together, on this ship. He kept my spirits up. Now he's dead. Uh, I'll be careful. You got any... Ooh, that's a strength-based helmet. I need one. 
and and an epic dagger is that better than one of your blues yes it is let's take that dude we're spending so much money is pants an upgrade yeah they are three thousand gold i can do that uh got a bunch of shit that we can sell you too This, and that, and this, and that. Wait, I need that. That, and that, and that. I don't think we're ever going to use the Fang of the Winter Dragon, despite how good it is. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Thanks! Alright, so let's, uh... Well, it's Living Wood, so let's try and talk to it with the elf, since they have a kinship with Living Wood things. Before you is a towering figurehead carved in the likeness of a dragon. It looms over the bow, its fangs bared at the open sea. Cool ship. Uh, you spot a mark on the figurehead. It's a living scar, the same type used to enslave you and your people. At that moment, the ship serendipitously creaks beneath you, almost like it is acknowledging your observation. Lay your hand on the figurehead. Searing pain races up your arm. The ship senses you. It's angry. Uh, remove the your hand quickly. The pain arm subsides to a dull tingle. The skin in your hand is already blistering. Um. Back away. I wonder if that diary we found earlier has any clues in it. The Sodden Diary. Today is a monumentous one, so monumentous in fact that I've decided to start keeping a diary to record my time on the Lady Vengeance. So that one day, should I have a family, my children and their children may know of my small involv involvement in these monumentous times. Could you shut up, lady? So to begin, today the Divine Lady Dallas, Hammer of the Order, arrived on board. She swept by in all her monumentous, momentous glorious, gloriousness, Jesus. And I fancy that as she glanced at me, a tiny smile twitched at the corner of her mouth. The Hammer smiled at me, possibly. Then she went to her stateroom, and there she spoke to the doors. I did not hear the whole of the conversation, but I believe she spoke of the principle of fortitude which is of course an important path of both the ethos of the order and of the maritime construction sorry i didn't know this was going to be so long the door seemed suitably inspired it opened for her she glided glud inside and we have not seen her since a, mon a momentous day orders we have orders the ship is to see action again uh is to see action an evil band of rebels has landed on the island we were we are to destroy their ship and perhaps them too tomorrow i shall return recount the story of our glorious victory fortitude is the key fortitude shall open the doors oh my god that was longer than i expected sorry probably should have just given up halfway through but i didn't so that's where we get the password to the doors but there is the key the key to getting this ship to sail is in Dallas' stateroom, and I forgot to pick it up, so we're going to run back down there. And down there. And go back in here. And remember to put on our weapon upgrades and all of our gear that we got. Let's put that there. 15, 17, 17, 19. You need that. Uh, I actually kind of like the look of that helmet. And you need El Pantalones. Good. And we are going to take the Dusty Tome. This is written in ancient lizard script. Yes. It appears to be a song. Uh, let's read the Dusty Tome. Only in concept, not actually read it aloud. Because I've learned my lesson. 
head back upstairs. And back over to the ship's head. Blessings to our fallen. Shut up. Pray that they may find Pray rest. Pray that they may find rest. The figurehead looms ahead, continuing its silent watch over the seas. Sing the song from the tome you found below decks. The deck beneath you groans and trembles, like the ship itself is awaking from a slumber. A deep sigh emerges, unmistakably the sound of a living being. Okay. You... You are not the witch. You are not Dallas. Nope. You sang the song. Now you must decide my fate. Are you to be my new mistress? Uh, gesture to your own face and say that you know the evils of living scars. The ship is free. You know my plight. I can sense it. But you cannot free me. Not truly. My scar is etched upon immortal wood. My servitude cannot end. I must be guided. Let me take you wherever you wish. We can depart as soon as you are ready. Okay. Ask. I am here to serve in all ways. Um. Take your leave. The ship's awake. Good. Hi, Malady. Is she ready to sail? Yep. Tell Malady, Malady, the ship is active and ready to sail. A slow, toothless smile stretches across her face. To driftwood, then. Yep. Nod your assent. It, it is time. It certainly is. Forward. Oh my god, just let me go. With the sun on their backs and the wind in their sails, the god woke and watched Fort Joy shrink behind them. But their capture of the Lady Vengeance had not gone unnoticed. Aw, oh, shit. We're under I attack. I respect your metal, Sorceress. You steal my ship, kill my bishop, and ally with demons. But you have no idea what you're really dealing with. We are ready, Mistress. Yes, but are they? I swear, Mistress. I swear they'll perform admirably. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Show me. Goodbye, sorcerers. All right, bitches, let's fight. I won't see taken from under my feet. You act. Yes. Oof. Oh, That's a lot of damage. Avoid. Listen up. We can't win this one, but I can get us to safety. You'll need to buy me time. Okay. Show us what you can do, Godwoken. Okay. God woken. Parasites, rather. I'll take care of it, mistress. So Dallas and her friend here are level 13s, which is uh, bad news bears. And everything else is level 8, which I believe we are. So we need to defend Malady for several complete turns before we can get out of here. Um, we are going to enrage, we are going to charge, and then we are going to, damn, could have positioned a little bit better, fuck it, let's just whirlwind, that did a lot of damage to them. I believe she is, uh, Losa is about to explode from a spell that was cast on her, and hopefully it'll deal damage to the enemies around her. I think that's how it works, but I'm not positive. Alright, you are going to unload on this chap here. So let's link behind him. Let's give him the back step. 
That was a great miss. Thank you for missing. You know how much I appreciate it when you miss! Stab him again. Let's go for Flesh Sacrifice. Adrenaline. Rupture Tendons. And Chicken. Taking a lot of damage. Good. Gareth is up here helping us. Oh, yeah. Haste the target that isn't fighting. Great. Great fucking move, Gareth. Oh, nice on the charm, though. That Geist is going to be a problem. You will not take me again, Dallas. Okay. Uh, what'd you just do? Hey, it worked. All right, so she got that debuff off of her. Let's actually knock these three down. Very, very good. Very, very, very good. And let's kill that guy. That'll give us back our AP. And fuck it. While we're over here, let's just... Try and take down these chaps. Let's go for an all-in. Fucking miss! Cool! Yeah. Don't think I can get backstabs here. Let's go for... Tactical retreat. To give ourselves haste. think this through, but this that's fine. Let's knock him down, so he can't deal any more damage. And... Let's actually back up so that explosion doesn't hit. Malady. What are you doing? You're a melee fighter. Why are you climbing to the heights? Ugh. He's so dumb. Rupture tendons, doing a little bit of work there. Excellent, they're fighting each other. Uh, this thing is just being stupid, though. Hey! Don't take my source, you cunt. Decaying and cursed. That is not good. But we should be able to take out these silent watchers. I'm hoping. Let's just go for damage. Come on with the misses. Oh my god. Seriously? Seriously, with these fucking misses. It is. I'm getting so tilted. So fucking tilted. Uh, we can CC one of them. Let's get behind this one. Let's try and get through his physical armor. It's just Sawtooth. all just fine. Yeah, yeah, fucking haste malady again, you fucking genius. Thanks. 
Thanks, Gareth. Yeah. Idiot. Ugh. All that effort just to have it jump away. No, fuck you. You're gonna die. I will chase you up there. need to survive one more turn, so we've basically won at this point. You know, fuck you. You're not getting away from me. It's time to die. Mac! Ah, satisfying. Actually, wonder if we can teleport one of these geists away. <laughs> Idiot. Yes, good. Good. I'm gonna have you open up on the Geist. Should be able to kill it. Nice. take down this guy. If we can kill him, that's just bonus XP in our pocket. I don't think we'll be able to, but we can try. Bunch of XP for that. Malady. The God Woken escaped through the veil that separates life from death. Hey. The air here has a familiar smell, like the place you grew up. Old memories begin to well within you, but the sweet sour smell of decay suddenly punctures them. Look around and realize you've been here before. A faint creaking sounds in the distance. All right. So Is we that are a tree. What's hanging from it? Uh, that is a tree, and it looks like the gods are hanging from it. To answer your question, so we have been here before. This is the one of the realms that the gods exist in. It's a silly place. I do believe there's a little hidden loot thing over here. Let's jump across that crevasse. And a high quality tormented soul. Pretty sure you can use those in some form of crafting. Of but I'ma just sell it. Hello! Let's grab some of this here dead? source. How can this be? We are going to need to equip the skill Bless. So let's just temporarily drop... Uh, Battle Stomp. Shouldn't matter. And you're our god, right? God of the Elves. Yeah. The douchebag. Let's go ahead and bless him. He's not looking too As hot. he regains consciousness, Tyr Sandelius frees an arm from the tendrils that bind him. He clutches at the coils, but cannot rend them apart. Okay. Mm, curse these snakes! Curse these binds! The... the others, too? Am I the first to wake? It doesn't matter. There is no time. You must leave this place. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Smile and ask how it feels to be at someone's mercy. Just like you, Sabeel, to gloat over a god. 
but that pretty smile of yours will melt from your face when you face the void. Oh, you pretty smile in your face. It is here. The cosmic spider ever weaving its webs. The void is coming for us gods. Coming to drink us dry of our powers. We stand no chance. Not here. Frown and say fear doesn't become a god. Let it be a warning to you, Sabeel. I, the god who created you, tremble. Does this not give you pause? Soon the Seven will be nothing but morsels in the moors of the Void. Mm -hmm. Unless, unless you do as I bid you. Do what I blessed you for. You have already set loose some of the powers locked within you. But there is a great well of possibility as yet untapped. Ah. You cannot stop until you ascend to the highest heights of your power. Uh -huh. You cannot stop until you become divine, uh -huh. like Lucian. You will be called to unite the powers of the Seven against the Void. Like Lucian, you will lead our proud people to preeminence. But unlike Lucian, your weakness will not lead you to foolish failure. Uh, yeah, okay. Good. Now hurry. Get out of here before... Hush. It's here. The spider's here. I don't like spiders. I'm gonna Run. go now. Go! I will find you. I'll be in ah! White hot cold pierces your heart like a blade. You are frozen to the spot. The burning cold pumps through you like a curse, and then Okay. That was interesting. Let's go ahead and re equip. Where is everyone? Battle stop before we forget. The same troubled look is visible on each face. You've seen the gods beaten and defiled, strung up as a warning. Let's see what Losa has to say. Uh, seems divinity is but a noose around a god's neck, and as I stood and watched, I could feel a noose tightening around my own. Gods, schmods. They aren't interested in me, and I'm not interested in them. It seems whatever's inside me is more powerful than any of them anyway. Or at least more cunning. Huh. You're interesting. All right, let's have a look around. See if we can find Malady. She can probably explain what the fuck is going on. I would hope. Doesn't look like she's up on deck anywhere, so let's head down below. Oh. Uh, need to move these pyramids around. All right, you have the blue one. You have the red one. There we go. Melody. Where is everybody? Hidden away somewhere, safe from the storm. Let's head down another level. She's got to be around here somewhere. You would think. There she is. What's up, Melody? Thanks for, thanks for saving us, baby girl. Appreciate it. Where have you been? I can't keep this up much longer. We need to go. Uh, but I have questions. There's no time. I can't hold us here. Brace yourself. This might hurt. Okay. A lot. of the Hall of Echoes clung to the Lady Vengeance as it returned to the shores of Reaper's Coast. The Godwoken were alive, but what of the gods? Alright fam, we have officially made it to Act 2. We're done with that little in-between phase. Which is exciting, because Act 2 is a lot of fun. And a lot more difficult. And there's lots of new exciting things and stuff for us to discover. In terms of character progression and story. Solid ground materializes beneath your feet. Your weight falls back into your body all at once. And bright sunlight stings your eyes. Neato. As your eyes adjust, you realize you're still aboard the Lady Vengeance. 
A gust of fresh sea air caresses you, and warm sunshine prickles your skin. Ooh. <coughs> oh. One moment, please. <coughs> Melody explodes in a fit of retching that racks her body. At last, she sneezes and expels a glob of something shiny and silver onto the deck. It wriggles quickly off the siding and plummets into the sea with a splash. Gross. <sighs> Better. Let's not do that again anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Uh, ask her what exactly happened back there. Well, we needed to escape, didn't we? So I took us the one place I was quite certain Dallas couldn't follow. Huh, clever. I suppose you recognized the Hall of Echoes from those visions you'd had before. Realm of the Dead, Realm of Divinity. <laughs> I do hope you learned something useful on our little field trip. I did. Uh, tell her you're not sure you met one of the gods again, and they seemed desperate. Desperate how? Describe to her everything you saw and heard in the Hall of Echoes. I see. So, your god seemed uncharacteristically frightened, told you the void was coming, and that only you could ascend to divinity, after which you felt a cold deep within you. Yep. Well then, it sounds like you need to ascend, doesn't it? And quickly. Yeah. She inspects her fingernails with great attention, then looks up at you from under an arched eyebrow. Did they mention how you were meant to become the next divine? Uh, they were pretty vague on that point. Mm, well, luckily for you, Mama Malady is here to help. Ooh, Mama. We already know you can bless, but as far as I know, you can neither see source nor take it as you see fit. Okay. I may not know much about divinity, but I do know that any god woken worth their salt will know how to perform all these hoes of fantastic feats. Okay. You need to go see the Meister. Okay. Uh, where can I find this Meister? Oh, she's got one of those things in Driftwood. You know, the building where people go and they do things inside of it? Um, home that's it she's got a home in driftwood <laughs> give me your map there you are tell her i sent you and she'll handle the rest thank you you're at the beginning of a long journey god woken long but exceedingly interesting appreciate you now i must be going and so must you um take your leave before you go if i'm not back by the time you find out where our journey takes us next you can call me back here Tell the ship. She'll know how to summon me. Okay. And in the unlikely case you don't manage to do whatever it is you'll need to do to become what you need to become, you could call me. But I would be grateful if it doesn't come to that. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to take that source you coughed up. Because... Wait, I'm going to take it on Losa. She's my source bitch. Alright! We made it to Act 2, fam! Uh, we are going to head off to the shores and start to explore it, but that is going to have to wait for the next episode if you are watching this here on the YouTubes. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like and subscribe. I love your faces. Super short, stubble, heart, beard. And I'll see you guys here next time. Bye-bye!